Oh my goodness. That was a little bit more heart pounding than normal. So here we are with um actually can't remember his name is so like Gloda. Essentially you want to hit him and duck. Move and duck. Because he will go where you are. But when he has his weapon, he will shoot fireballs at you. You can only hit him once. Now, when he doesn't have his thing, he will use his nose. Nose attack, which will be really annoying. But uh, when you get in a corner, he definitely. Uh, you can try to get away from it, but it's a bit difficult, so I always try to jump and get away from it as soon as possible. And that should be it. Nope. One more hit. And of course you have to hit me one more time. But luckily there's... there... they give you health upgrades afterwards, so... that's... that's pretty good. So here we have... next is the gargoyle. Which, um... No, it's not bad, I would say. He's, I say, a little bit easier than the, uh... And I have the axe, I can actually use the axe. I can use the axe on him. Or, try to anyway. And when you take half his life off, he will turn red, which he will get actually very easy. easy. He gets easier, which is, I don't know why they did that. Actually, the axe is coming in handy. So maybe I should have kept the axe, definitely. And we'll hitch. There we go. And there we are. Gargoyle is a lot easier. And the bones... don't. I wish the bones stayed there, actually. Kind of show that, you know, progression. But anyway, moving on. I'm looking at full life, but nevertheless, I got two. Hmm, I'm wondering if this will come in handy or not. Hmm, okay, so here we have Death. He will automatically shoot a sickle at you, so you want to defend. You want to, This is where you want to basically try to... Now, when he does this, you can't use, I think, any sub-weapons, because they just disappear. So you gotta hit him with your whip. Alright. I'm gonna try to take care of him with my sub weapons when I can. And jump. First time you can jump over that, even though it's cutting it very close. Okay. You definitely want to get rid of the sickles because they will come back and hit you again. And I, I'm sorry for not talking too much, but this does take a little precision to do and a little concentration. And I'm dead. And I have one hit left. Oh my god. Okay. So let's try that again. Okay, so. The axe didn't really come in handy too much, but I do have to say you're going to use your weapon mostly for these bosses. You can go over here and hit him a few times, but he will move. And when he does this, you just go over here and go. And again, you can jump over first time. And his vacuum is even worse than freaking Dustman, I have to say. Mega Man 4. He will go like that, which I have to say is not that... Well, I do have to say he's a lot easier in this than in the first one. Even though, well, he is easy in the first one if you have... If you have holy water. And that takes care of death. Holy cow. That was a lot more difficult than, than it needed to be.
Okay, and now we get into, I have to say, the one of the best intros to a boss stage ever. Kind of, the fire goes as you go along the thing, and you got the obvious music from the prologue. Just perfect. So you can go up the stairs, but if you don't feel like you're ready, you can jump over here. And jump over here, and you can get full life, full hearts, boomerang, one, or two, and then three. And you go around here, around here to climb. You don't want to go too far over and jump over. And there you go. You're pretty much set for the last boss, which I do have to say... I don't know, is a, could be a little difficult, but also could be a little easy. It depends on how it goes. So here we go. We're finally at Dracula. And I do have to say that he will... His first form, I have to say, or first... You kind of want to shoot boomerangs at his head and just avoid the fireballs, because the fire fireballs will split into three or four. So, you want to shoot boomerangs at his head, and the... Don't worry about getting too much life, getting... Oh, I actually missed the, the health upgrades, actually. Holy cow. Okay, so pretty much after you take care of four of his life, he will, I guess, switch modes. Mode change. <laughs> Dracula mode change, yes. And he will uh, give you this, he will send this thing to basically... And I really need those up up upgrades, and I don't know if I'm actually going to do it this time. Okay, so hopefully I can get long enough to... So I, to I totally missed his first health upgrade, and I'm dead, so... I would have probably lasted longer if I got those health upgrades, but I'm actually going to do this again because it does come in handy. He is. You also get chains too if you don't have the chain or the Morning Star. Being technical, so mainly you will die if you go too far over. So, of course, I have beat him with uh, without actually the up all those all the upgrades, but. I'm feeling a bit lazy, and I just want to get this over with. Well, not over with, but it, it's a great game, but it just, it can be tedious. Just like the original Dracula, except you don't have two forms to deal with. You just have one health bar instead of two. So I'd say just shoot boomerangs at him, and then take care of the fireballs with your whip. For his first form, make sure that you don't go over four like I did last time. So if you hit him and he goes to four, just you'll shoot this thing that will it will shoot Okay. I think he will go into the uh So when you actually get him to five, he'll start his uh, his his other mode change. But until then, you can get probably a good dose of health upgrades to continue on. Okay. I do have to say that the music does really remind me of the first one, actually, because during the first battle, you uh, really had kind of ominous music playing, which really got him good that time, actually. Okay, 
so I think I might be good if I play my cards right. Or not, maybe. Okay. Okay, so... Is this is his last form. Or last part of his form. Which I do have to say, he gets a little easier because, well... You can see where his attacks are going to be, and you can shoot his head quite easily. So I'm thinking probably his other forms are a little more difficult -er than this one. You just keep on doing it, avoid his lightning attacks, which I'm not doing, but we have one and one, so it's going to be a... And there we are! Dracula is defeated. The window breaks open, the sunlight comes in, and he gets destroyed, and I always like trying to kill him here, like, like here, and like, but you know, that's, that's that. And there we are. I do like this, this uh, atmosphere a little bit better than, and there we are. It's done. And that was Super Castlevania 4. One of, actually, the best Castlevania, I have to say, in, in in my personal opinion. And there you see Simon Belmont with his, you know, hair blown in the wind, the typical, you know, hero pose. And, I don't know, I don't, I don't like his outfit. He could be a little bit, it looks like he's, like, part of, like, the He-Man universe. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of that. Even though I think his original garb in the first one was a little bit better, I don't think it was as event. He didn't look like he was like ready for. Like this one looks actually kind of like armor, and the the one in the first one kind of seems a little bit more. Well, I think actually no, meh. I don't know. I have to, I have to play the first one again. And uh, from what I actually remember, he he looked a little bit better in the first one than this one. But anyway, also, well, he... You, there's up to debate of what, how he looks in number two, but anyway. Moving on. We get a little clip show pretty much from our journey through the bosses and through the stages. It mainly shows... A good portion of the bosses, not like everyone, but shows a good portion of the bosses. So that's that's pretty much it. So it was a pretty much a uh, a journey getting here, especially with all my con controller troubles. And I could have played slightly better here and there, but uh, in the end, I have to say it, it's a good game. I can't play it flawlessly, but to like a game, you don't need to play it, like, absolutely 100% great, like, uh, you know, no hit run. You just gotta have fun playing it, and that's the thing, is, yeah, I died a few times, and I had some rage, rage a little bit in some parts, and I made those into videos, but, mainly, too, is to have that's the key thing, is to have fun with the game. If you keep on dying, you keep on dying. So what? You just continue. And if you get to the point of, like, throwing the controller out the window, then you have problems. Maybe you should put it down, take a break, and play something else. And that's what I did with this game. Because continuing after this game is I'm going to be playing the first one. I'm going to do a run of the first one, because that's what I did. I got so sick of, I, I, I got to that point of almost throwing my controller. And that, I think it was because I was playing with my old controller and I knew I could do better with a better controller. So I said, okay, I'm putting it down, playing something else, until I get a new controller. And that's what I did. I played the first one. I played the first one Wii Virtual Console and I made a run out of it. And that's going to be my next run after this one. 
and that's 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 what it is. And I finished that one because it's all it's all ready because it's a short game. That got that g gave me a little bit of a little bit of actually more depressing because it took me about four hours to beat the last boss. But that's another story. Um, and again, it's about having fun with the game, and I had fun playing it because I felt that I got I got better, and I even got a well not a new personal best, but I actually surprised myself that I went to the last stage without actually dying, and I'm like, holy cow, I've never done that in a Castlevania, especially the first one. And I was very proud of myself with that. Like, I know people can go right through with, like, basically, no, you're not even getting hit, basically. But, for me, I was very proud of myself for doing that. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And, <clears throat> I will be... I know, I kind of... <clears throat> hmm. I'll be probably continuing a little bit of Castlevania because, well, not not because it's Halloween actually, because that was totally pure coincidence. I had no idea I was actually playing more of a like game filled with monsters around Halloween. I'm like, oh man, I want to kind of do a ca I want to do Castlevania for because I want to do it for a while. And that's the thing I wanted to do. That so I'm doing Castlevania for Jerry Dead, and I'm going to do Castlevania. One and then may do number three. I'm not totally 100% on that, but I will be doing other things other than time. So that's pretty much it. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I will see you on the next on my next run. So until then, this is Lord Virgilus saying farewell and good night. <laughs>